Hi guys, welcome back to another video of ovulation tests. If you are new here, this will be my second round of Clomid. I did ovulate in my first round, so I am doing 50 milligrams again for my second round, so hopefully I can ovulate again this cycle. I am using the Clear Blue Advanced Digital Tests. And then I'm also going to use these Easy at Home little cheapy test. I personally love these things. Like preference, this is what I always get. Since I'm on Clomid, my cycles aren't going to be like they were before when I was trying to ovulate on my own. So I feel like these tests can actually work and it did work last cycle. I had I had just the empty circle and then I got a peak, just a straight smiley face. I never got a high. But in prior cycles, before taking Clomid, I wasn't ovulating every cycle. I was not ovulating, ovulating for like multiple months. So taking these tests were just super unrealistic to me because they are not cheap tests. But I do think I still have enough left to test for this cycle. The thing about these tests, if you are planning on using it, the advanced digital ones, it, it says to test every morning with your first morning urine until you get the little like peak, this flashing face, and then you can test during like more times during the day. But that's because it reads your estrogen and your LH. Unlike these tests, these just look at your LH. So a lot of people who take like these types of tests will say use your second morning urine or test later on in the day. What I'm going to do this month is I'm going to test every morning with both of these tests starting at today is cycle day 10. And if it starts to look dark to me or I start to think, okay, I'm having other signs through my body that might be like, hey, ovulation could be coming up, then I'll start taking these multiple times a day because I got a big box of these. I can take as many as I want. They're super cheap. I don't feel bad about wasting these tests. And then I can also test um, multiple times a day with this, but I will wait until I get that flashing smiley face so that I don't mess up this little like technology that's in this thing. And I didn't get my positive last cycle until cycle day 14. So I'm not expecting that there's going to be a positive by any means here, but with the advanced digital test, you have to start testing earlier in earlier before you ovulate for it to get what your low reading looks like. If you just take this the day that you think you're gonna get your peak and it could technically actually be the day you peak, but because the reader, didn't get to know what your low level was, it's gonna not consider that level a peak. So if you're taking these and you're like, wow, these lines look really dark in this test, but I keep getting a, a regular circle and it's not giving me a peak. And maybe you have a positive on one of these, but this isn't giving you a peak. It may be because you didn't test early enough in your cycle for it to know what a low reading looks like. So let's open up this clear blue and a lot of the stuff I talked about in my prior uh, ovulation tests but just in case you didn't watch that one I just want to make sure you guys have all the information because it can be so confusing when you're taking these ovulation tests but I'll show you that is blank and then you just want to make sure the arrows point together and click it together. And that little flashing symbol right there is showing you that it is resetting the reader for a fresh cycle. And that means it is ready to test. And when you pull this off to dip it in your urine, you wanna make sure you 
check again and make sure that symbol still looks like that because sometimes if you pull it off you might dislodge this little uh, test stick in there and then it'll mess up I'll give you like a little book thing and then that test will be invalid if you don't like stick that back in there all right so I'm going to stick it in here I think it's 15 seconds okay so it is blinking and that lets you know that it is thinking so I'm going to lay this stick over here for it to load. And then while that one's loading, I'm going to use the Easy at Home ovulation test. Can you see? It is thinking. And when these are done loading, I will input them on my app. I like the Premom app because you can use a little skin camera in the app and when you scan it it will tell you like give you a reading for what your test results are so it tells you if it's low high peak and it kind of gives you when it thinks you're going to ovulate based on your test results. So if you're planning on using these little strip tests, I would definitely give you get yourself an app that does that. I know there's a few that read, they kind of read them differently. Personally, I've been using the Primo app for all of my pregnancies. I've been using them since I started trying to conceive and I find it very helpful. So I'm continuing to use that one. Uh, and then a lot of other apps, like I think I use the Glow app Let's see, maybe make sure. Yeah, so the Glow app I use to just to put in other information. And like you can say with the advanced digital test, like a circle, a flashing smiley face, or like the solid smiley face. And then it also bases, takes that information and then gives you an estimation of what it thinks you would all ovulate. So I'm sure other apps do the same type of thing. So I would not use the apps <laughs> to just track your cycle and say, okay, this is my fertile window, because that's just not accurate. If you talk to any fertility doctors, those fertile window things aren't really accurate unless you have a consistent, always 28 day cycle, always 29 day cycle, something like that. It's exactly the same cycle every single cycle, exactly the same length every single cycle, then you can use that of, okay, we can try to have sex during these days. If, Hopefully we'll get um, the proper timing right, but it cannot tell you you are going to for sure ovulate in that time. It's just unfortunate that that doesn't work that way, but that's why we have ovulation tests and temping so you can kind of pinpoint um, better with your ovulation. And then I will also be going in for a blood test again this cycle. I'm actually going to like a uh, a lab place where they just do like blood and stuff like that because it will be on a weekend <laughs> so hopefully all that goes good I don't know if I'll get my information as fast as through my doctor we'll just see how that works anyways you guys I'll be back when these tests are done loading okay you guys so the tests are done loading so I'm going to show you them now this is the clear blue digital it is a blank circle and I'll inject it and eject it and show you guys the line. Yep, that looks pretty negative. And then here is the easy at home test. And that looks pretty negative too. Let me scan it with my app and see what it gives it. As soon as you scan that, then it just takes a little photo of it for you. And then it will tell you your results. And it gave it a 0.35 low. which is pretty good. So not ovulating yet. Um, I, 
I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi you guys, today is cycle day 11 and I'm going to dip these tests really quick and then show you guys if they look positive or not. It's going across. Now for the clear blue test and that one is thinking so now let's look at the results so it's empty circle I'm not really surprised the tests Definitely does not look like I am going to be ovulating yet, which is okay because it is only cycle day 11. So I guess we will just keep testing and I will see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back you guys. Today is cycle day 12 and we are about to dip these tests. Hopefully the tests look a little bit more positive than yesterday but it's still going to be a little early to actually ovulate. So the clear blue one is loading and I will be back when the tests are done. So I'm actually really shocked that it's a flashing smiley face. I've never had that before, which is kind of exciting since it's cycle day 12, it's supposed to give you a lead up to when you're going to peak, so it kind of tells you when to start trying. Since the regular LH strip doesn't look like it's positive yet, it means I'm definitely not ovulating yet. But it looks like the clear blue is telling me my estrogen is rising, which that's supposed to rise before your LH starts to rise. So hopefully that means maybe tomorrow I will have my peak. But if not tomorrow, I definitely should have it on cycle day 14. So these tests both look really they look really light but it's hard to tell when they dry but I want to compare it to this test to see if I can tell what's reading the estrogen in these but they look pretty light still I think when it dries you wouldn't really be able to tell much of a difference so I think we're just going to have to wait and see what the clear blue looks like tomorrow.
But as you can see on the regular Easy at Home LH test, it looks a tiny bit darker than yesterday, but definitely nowhere near being positive. Okay, you guys, so I will see you tomorrow. Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Today is cycle day 13, and I'm super excited because yesterday I had a high flashing smiley face on the clear blue digital. So I'm really hopeful that I might get my peak today. If not, I'm expecting my lines to be a little bit darker than yesterday. So we'll have to dip these tests and then see what kind of result I get. So the LH test is loading. Now I'm going to do the clear blue test. The clear blue test is loading, so I will be back when the results are in. So as you can see, it is still flashing, so giving me a high fertility, which is okay because it's still cycle day 13, and it might give you a few days of flashing smiley faces before you get your peak. But with this easy at home test, it looks pretty light. Like I wanna say it looks like how it did yesterday, but maybe it's a tad bit lighter. It probably needs to load a little bit longer but let's look at this test looks like on the inside hmm this chest looks kind of light too maybe i don't have the best sample today i'm not quite sure kind of was expecting a little bit better results today unfortunately it looks like I might have to wait and hopefully tomorrow I get some better lines and maybe I'll get my peak test tomorrow morning. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, so today is cycle day 14. I am expecting to get my peak ovulation tests today. Hopefully that does happen. Fingers crossed my easy at home gives me a dark line. And since I've had the flashing smiley face on my clear blue the last two days, I'm really hopeful that today I get my peak that solid smiley face. So you can see that the clear blue one is thinking and the easy at home one is loading too. All right, so we are back and it's still flashing. Which is kind of disappointing because you think by now it would be a solid smiley face. The line looks a tad bit darker than it did yesterday. But now I'm kind of concerned that maybe I'm not going to ovulate and I'm just going to have this prolonged trying to peak but don't actually peak like I do in my normal cycles. 
I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Maybe I'll test later today. Okay, guys, so it is 14 DPO and still at 3 p.m. And I'm just not convinced by my low LH test this morning just because I had a positive ovulation test on 14 DPO last cycle. So I just decided I'm gonna just test right now, make myself feel better, and I'm recording it just in case there's something there. Hopefully there is, just because I, I wanna make sure I ovulate this cycle, but let's take this test. You can see it is 14. Okay, so I'll let that sit there and load. these tests left so if I don't get a positive soon or um, a peak soon I will have to go out and buy some more of these or I might just stop using them I don't know I'm not sold on how much money these cost for what you're getting. Okay, so that one is thinking. And while that one's thinking, I'm gonna show you guys this easy at home one is already looking like it's gonna be positive. Like that's pretty flippin' dark. Right? Like that looks like gonna be positive or pretty close to positive. Okay, I'll be back when they are done loading. Okay guys, so it is done loading and I'm so flippin' happy. You can see it. took it this morning. These fade a lot so you can kind of see the difference. Right? Dude, that's so flippin' exciting. Which is good. That means I don't need to take any more of these this cycle. So I'll just be whether or not I buy that for my next cycle. And then here's the easy at home test. That's definitely positive. So let me scan this and see what it says. So I will probably test again tonight to see what the easy at home one says again just to see if it's getting darker or not. But I don't know if I'll record that. I think I'll just wait until we get our blood test results in and then I'll get back with you guys and let you know if the blood test confirms 